museum. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, as I was looking at the room, I was thinking about how special this is. Uh, a small gathering, but a significant gathering. A symbiotic connection between African-American critics who pool great African-American talent. Very important to each other. And we hold each other to account. Uh, you as an organization ensure that our work is recognized and others won't recognize. And that's important and greatly appreciated. You, hold us, you also hold us to account, to make sure that we keep our standards high and that our work is of an impactful nature. Uh, and that's a good thing, even when we grow, uh, when we have nothing. <laughs> that's good criticism. I think of the small gathering, how significant it is because I also was thinking of all those uh, African Americans in that small church in Boston who waited to hear the word about the emancipation project. I think of all the men and women who were sitting in that church in Montgomery, waiting for the first speech from that 26-year-old preacher who said, we might have something here. And they started the bus boycott in 1955. But I also think of a small group of artists African American Grove Company in the 1800s, early 1800s. Ira Aldridge doing a production that Don Douglas Thomas probably would have been fantastic in. Of Richard III. That was so powerful and impactful that they shut them down. And 19th century Ira Aldridge had to go to London to make his mark. Paul Rosen has been allowed to make his mark in the 20th century, and I have to do it in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. The journeyman actor who's been doing for 40 years here in Mount. He was wondering if the best days were behind him. Middle aged man, that's a conflict with him. And then this perfect moment of a role that comes into your life. It's so important because it's exactly where you are in your life. The self reflection is so deep that you're able to give voice to something in yourself that you haven't tapped into, and that's what Death was said. So I can only think in this moment of a small fraternity of men who played the role of only five in the seven year history. I joined that small fraternity. But there's another fraternity of men that I think about who inspired me, who were my beacons. Oz Davis, Oscar Lee Brown, James O. Jones, James Edwards, Godfrey Cambridge, Earl Hyman, men who told me that I had a voice and had something to say. And it was denied out of ignorance and racism to actually fully sing their song. Mm -hmm. And when I step on that stage each night, I think of them. They have handed me a legacy, their legacy. Like the Moses generation hands the baton off to the Joshua generation. So I need to make sure that I also do the same to someone that's magnificent, to Mr. Cooper here. And understand that we are in this great, great continuum of talent and legacy that we all are beholden to. In this moment, I just want to say one thing, which is very important. My parents always told me, growing up in New Orleans, there are those who do not have our best interests at heart. Especially at this time, this great excellence, 
it's a black wave of talent that is mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We are in concert with each other, not in competition. Yeah. Others try to divide and do not have our best interests at heart. I am so honored to be in this company of people because as time goes on, you understand this with too. as you get a little older. <laughs> we have all of these wonderful connections with people in the room. I remember talking in the verses with John as he was doing a play. Uh, I was at Williamstown and he was at uh, Shakespeare Company. Shakespeare Company. And I played the little brother at the time. And then I saw her in Crazy Little Sound. Her talent, I felt as though I, I couldn't believe I knew her. I really I couldn't. I was like, I actually know someone that talent. Right? And LaShance and I, and I've seen LaShance in so many wonderful things. But you know, LaShance put out a call to action in the midst of our pandemic. And this awakening, this racial awakening that happened. She created the Black Theater United. I heard that back. And we worked for that entire year changing making an impact on our industry. And I'm so proud of the work that you have done and all of the shows you're producing this season. I cannot leave this podium without recognizing television and in film. Yeah. Yes. She is leading a path and giving us a pathway of how to be artists and how to be business people mm -hmm. at the same time. And make sure that we create the industry and the art that we want to see. Mm -hmm. Arthur Miller said, Jason. Arthur Miller said, there's a certain immortality in not given to you by monuments or books, but the knowledge that an actor takes with them to their dying day. And on a certain afternoon in the theater, he casts a shadow of a person that was not himself. But the distillation of everything that had ever seen, they had ever seen, and gave voice to the unsung heart song that the common man and woman feels for never others. Doing that, we hope to enjoy it. We hope to be in this room from the beginning. <laughs>